Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Sister Kiona will be opening in prayer. Go, sister. Hallelujah. Father, we just bless you on this morning. God, we give you glory and honor, God. We're just so thankful, God, Lord, to be able to meet at this place, oh God. And Father, even now, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence being upon this Zoom call, Lord. Father, we know, God, that on today you will uh, move and speak powerfully, oh God, unto us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, even now, Father, that, Lord, this recording, God, should touch the nations, oh God. Lord, that people will get killed and set free, oh God, from this recording, from this teaching on today. We pray, God, that you're healing power will be upon it. Your deliverance power, God, will be upon it, oh God. Your breakthroughs, God, will be upon it. Your miracles, Father, will be upon it in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, God, Lord, that those that we couldn't even imagine to touch, Lord, that they will be touched off of this, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Let it touch the four corners of the earth, oh God. Let it meet those, oh God, even the remote areas, oh God. Let it be a change, Father, on today, oh God, in Jesus' name. Uh, we thank you, oh God, Lord, that millions shall be saved, oh God, from this broadcast, oh God. We pray, Father God, in Jesus' name. Uh, let the fire of the living God be upon it, oh God. Uh, and we just pray, God, even now, oh God, that you would touch all those that will be uh, praying on this morning, that will be bringing forth the word on this morning. Let your power and your anointing, God, be upon their mouth, oh God. Let fire come from their mouth. We pray, God, that even now, let their voice, God, so oh God, be freshly anointed by you on today. In Jesus' name, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that even now, Lord, that you're stirring up gifts, oh God. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, God. Uh, and Father, just move by your spirit, oh God. Father, we just want your presence like never before. Oh God, we thank you, God, for this place of worship, uh, for this time, God, to gather in your name, oh God. In Jesus' name, Father, we bless you, oh God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lisa? Yes. Dear Father, thank you for a new day. Thank you for a new day, Father God filled with fresh grace and countless opportunity. Father, lead us to your heart, your word, and your ways, Lord. As we purpose, as we purpose to live out your love, beginning on this day, Lord, we praise you and worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you so much, Lord. Give us an understanding and wisdom of your word and everything what we're going to do here in the prayer meeting, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. This is Messengers of Light Ministry once again. We're coming to you from the Boogie Down Bronx, and we have people from all over the place. Hallelujah. Here is the prayer team, um, and I'm going to just have them greet you real quickly. Um, Lizardo. God bless everybody. God have a, a wonderful real day. God bless. Praise the Lord. Sylvia, unmute yourself, Sylvia. Good morning, everyone. God bless you this morning. Amen. Sister Kathy. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. Sister Kiona. Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. What's BJ? Angelic Voices BJ. Good morning. God bless everyone. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Brother Asim. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And Sister Elisa. Good morning, everyone. God bless. bless, you, Lisa. bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning to everyone. This is Messengers of Light once again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You can always locate us at PastorLizardoZambra at gmail.com. If you email us, we will send you an invitation so you can come in live. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord for you and we thank the Lord Jesus Christ once again. We pray that you have been getting blessed with these Zoom meetings. The Lord, the Holy Spirit puts topics in our heart and we talk about it. And we let the Holy Spirit just lead us. We listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the churches. Uh, you can also find us in Lizardo Zambra on YouTube. You can also find us on Pastors 
Zambra on Facebook and angelicvoiceministries.com. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ once again for the opportunity to praise his name. You got to remember that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary. The word of God says, as many as call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And if you give your life to Jesus, the word of God says, by no means will he cast you out. If you ask him to forgive you of your sins, he will forgive you. And he will write your name in the book of life. And he will fill you with his Holy Spirit. And he will open your eyes so that you can see the kingdom of God. It's always the day of salvation if you hear his voice today do not close your heart and your ears to the voice of god in jesus mighty name amen we're gonna have lizardo zambra with the reading of the word amen god bless everybody today praise the lord let's go uh quickly to first thessalonians chapter four starting in verse one um this first thessalonians Chapter 4, verses starting in verse 1. Give me a minute if you find it. We'll start. Are we together? Come on. Man, we'll start, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Mm-hmm. Finally, finally, my brethren, we argue and restore in the Lord Jesus that we should burn more and more. Just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God. Too, for you know uh, what commands we give to you through the Lord Jesus. Three, for this is the will of God, your sanctification. You should abstain from sexual immorality. For each of you should know how to possess his own vessel, sanctification, and honor. Five, not in his passions as lust, like the Gentiles who do not know God. Six, that no one should take advantage of his defraud his brother in the matter because the Lord danger of all such. We also will warn you, you should testify. Seven, for God did not call us into uncleanness, but to holiness. Eight, therefore be he who rejects does not reject man, but God who has also has given us his Holy Spirit. Nine, not concerning a brother we love, you have no need that I should write to you. For you, your soul, are taught by the God to love one another. Ten, indeed, you, you do so toward all the brethren. You are from Macedonia, but we argue, you, brethren, that you increase more and more. Six, eleven, that you also inspire, inspire a quiet life. Mind your own business and work with your own hands as we command you. Twelve, you may walk properly toward those who are outside, that you may have like nothing. 13, but do not, I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are asleep, who fall asleep, my God, lest you so sorrow as others who do have no hope. 14, for we believe that Jesus died and rose again, so God will bring with him those who are asleep in Jesus. 15, for this we all say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord. They know what means you see those who are asleep. Lucas 16 says, My God, for long souls shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 17, that we who are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus you always be, always be with the Lord. Therefore, come for you, come for one another with these words. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. That's like the most beautiful promise in the whole Bible. I was reading yesterday. Man. <laughs> I was reading yesterday in um John 14, and it says, and if I go, you know, John 14, verse 3, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may also be. 
our God is coming. Hallelujah. You know, that's going to be an amazing experience. I cannot wait to see my Lord. You know, there's a lot of controversy on, on the coming of Christ. I am just a simple, simple believer. I believe that Jesus is coming. I don't know when he's coming. I'm not a... I don't go ahead of God. I don't believe in that. The Bible says that lawless <clears throat> will increase in this world, that the spirit of Antichrist is already in this world. The Bible says that, that, that God is preparing the church because he's going to come and pick her up. And uh, I just want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to leave. <clears throat> I know that God is not going to forsake me because it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10, that he will protect me from the wrath to come. And I have good faith that God is going to be faithful to protect us and guard us until the day of his coming. Because it says in the gospel that he is with us until the end. He says it, and, and I'm just so grateful to God for, for being with us. Hallelujah. You know, 1 Thessalonians 1.10 says, And to wait for his son. In other words, we're waiting for Jesus. From heaven. Whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Our Lord is going to deliver us from the wrath to come. And that's where my faith is, that our God is faithful and he will protect us. And that's first test, 1 verse 10. If you don't know where that is. And my hopes are in Jesus. This, uh, the author of Thessalonians says he will deliver us. You know, a lot of things are going to happen in this world. And I don't want to be a part of that. I don't even want to come back in a white horse when God sets Satan loose. I don't even want to be for that. <laughs> but hey if the Bible says we're coming back we're coming back so amen praise God you know uh, I'm not a ecclesiological teacher I mean I am but I don't like to do it because I only have one goal in life and that is to set souls free and to set them free from the bounds of Satan. Everybody else that wants to get into other things. I mean, I study everything. I study the last days. I study healing. I study who God is. I study everything. But I like to stay in, in freedom. I like to stay in liberty. I like to stay in salvation. Because it says in the book of uh, Roman and um I believe it's, it's in one of the epistles, which I don't remember now, that is that God's given us the ministry of reconciliation. And I focus on what God has us to do, which is to save souls. For the Bible says he that's why saves souls. He doesn't spend his time fighting and, 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 and wasting their time because the power of God is here to heal and deliver. And if you understand that and you get focused on the salvation of souls, if you understand that, yeah. God could use you mightily. Because uh, Satan has did a big number, especially in the churches where religion has wrapped themselves 
the spirit of religion. That's what got Apostle Paul killing people. That's what got the Pharisees lost, the spirit of religion. And uh, Jesus was so upset with them because the Bible says that they had the truth, but they wouldn't let others come in. They didn't practice the truth, didn't live the truth, but they didn't let others come in. And uh, I tried to keep my salvation humble. I tried to walk in the fear of the Lord. And I tried to aim at the souls of man in love and in, uh, in unity with, you know, I learned to work with, you know, <laughs> I'm going to put it like this. Apostle Paul said that to a Gentile, he became a Gentile and to the Jew, he became a Jew. So if you have any wisdom in God and if you understand the principles of God, it is God's will for us to love one another. And that love is supposed to surpass all understanding. That love is supposed to unite us in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, look what uh, racism has done to nationalities. Look what religion has done to the nations of the world. Look at, at what politics has done to the world. Look at greed, what's done to the world. If if people would give equally to every human being in this earth, there would be no hunger because God's provided for everyone, for the poor, for the rich. But there are things that separate people, their thoughts, their minds, their imagination, their own will. And if we were to humble ourselves before God, that's why God says, humble yourself before almighty God, that he may exalt you in due time. I don't pretend to be, I don't pretend to be more righteous than other people. I just try to love, just love. God says, love one another. When we don't love one another, we fall into the doctrine of Cain. And if you go to the Bible, God says that we have to be careful with the doctrine of gain because hate causes the brethren to, to kill each other. And that's dangerous, amen? That is so dangerous, which we rebuke all that in the name of Jesus. One thing we all have to agree on when it comes to walking with the Lord Jesus Christ is that he's coming. And if he's coming, <laughs> hallelujah, and you waiting for him, then 100% we're brothers and sisters. If you believe in the Holy Spirit, 100% we're brothers and sisters. I believe that I could preach the gospel anywhere in this world, hallelujah. Um, let's pray for Debbie because um, Jackie's asking for prayer for Debbie. She left. Um, and uh, let's just raise up Debbie. Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank anyone you. that needs prayer, put it in the, um, type it in, let me know Thank so you. that I could pray or we could pray for you. We could pray for the persons that need prayer. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you so much this morning. We love you, Lord, in, in a special way, Lord. We just love you. I love you. Your word says that, that if we love you, we keep your commandments. And you know what, Lord? I love you. And I pray to forgive me and anything I've done or said or any way I have offended you because your word says that if you regard iniquity in my heart, you will not hear me. And your word says that I have to hate evil. And I'm going to read that. And I hate evil with perfect hatred, Lord God. But I love you with all my heart, Father. With all my soul and all my mind. And I ask you today, Lord God, that you look upon 
the need of your people, of Debbie, hallelujah, the youth out there, especially that are doing drugs, that they're, they're smoking different drugs, that they're drinking alcohol, they're, they're taking pills, that they're doing things to hurt themselves, Lord God, Father. I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you that you deliver them. I bind the strong man in Debbie's life. I bind the, the powers of hell and I pray, Holy Spirit, that you just exalt yourself, hallelujah, and glorify your name. And we thank you, Father, for bringing deliverance to our youth, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every youth in, in this world, Lord God, because they're just exploring this life, Lord, and they have not experienced, and, and they're so easily lured by, by gangs and, 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 and older people that just bring bad influence to them, because I actually see it all around me, that there's a, a group of youth, and there's an older person just bringing the wrong type of influence to their lives, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, we, we pray for the families and, and our friends and we rebuke greed, hallelujah, and hatred. We pray for love and faithfulness and joy, hallelujah. We bind and rebuke any lustful spirit and we ask for strengthening in our lives. And we ask, for oh God, that you help us and that we don't faint and that we don't murder, especially our babies, Lord. That we don't murder the babies, Lord God. Murder one another because hatred is murder, Lord God. Your word says it. Hatred is murder. But you say that we have to hate evil. For it is written, hallelujah, in, in Psalms. Psalms 139 verse 4 says, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knoweth all together. Hallelujah. Uh, hold on. In verse 21 it says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not I grieve with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. So the word says that we hate what he hates. And it's true because sometimes when we're sitting and I see something that I know that defiles my eyes or I hear somebody live, living or seeing things that grieve my father, it makes me feel sad, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're gonna pray also for spouses, uh, the young girls that are not married, hallelujah, that God brings the right spouses to them. Amen, so let's pray about that. Um, who wants to volunteer? Do I have a volunteer? Because it's not easy to be single and and praying for God to bring a husband to someone. And I have a couple of girls that are single that I would love the Lord to bring a really wonderful husband. Like Kat. Kat is single. Kat, wave. And she's a wonderful woman of God. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's anointed. She's smart. She's educated, hallelujah, and she's praying for a spirit-filled man of God, hallelujah. They're seeking a woman of God, but we're praying for the Holy Spirit to bring him. So let us pray for God to bring him, hallelujah. Who wants to volunteer to pray? Anyone? Okay, I'll pray. You pray. Father, dear Lord God, Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this meeting, dear Lord God, Father. Amen. Um, I guess one of our petitions today, Father, is for you to uh, be able to bring uh, the spouses, the right spouses into our lives, the right spouses into 
uh, men and women, Father, that are single and that are looking, Father Jesus, to um, be in a godly relationship with somebody, Father Jesus. We pray for those women that are single, pray for those men that are single out there, Father Jesus, that you, Father, may bring, Father Jesus, uh, the, the ones, Father Jesus, that they can bring with. For the real word says, Father, that it's not good for a man to be alone. It's not good for a man to be alone. So, Father, I just pray, Father Jesus, for your perfect will to be manifested for men and women out there that are searching and looking, Father Jesus, for their significant other. In your name, Jesus, Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Father. Hallelujah. Let's also pray for the children. Hallelujah. This morning. Sylvia, can I have you volunteer to pray for the children? For all children? All. Oh, Father, we put the little ones before you, my Lord, the innocent, my Lord. They're so fragile, Father, and so humble. We put them before you, Father, that you may put a wonderful uh, circle of love and protection around each and every one of them. Father, we bind and we rebuke the spirit of rebellion, my Lord. Amen. In Jesus' the name. The enemy uh, uses for the children to rebel young in, the, in their lives against their parents. And Father, we rebuke that spirit of rebellion in the name of Jesus, my Lord. And hallelujah. Father, I ask you to draw the children to you, my Lord. Father, I ask you to protect their minds during these times, Father, that the enemy is trying to bring them up, believing that a man and a man and a woman and a woman can be together, Father. We rebuke that spirit line spirit devil in the name of jesus father we come against that we come against the filthy lies of the enemy father i ask you to open up their little eyes and let them confirm in their hearts and in their minds father that that is not of you lord father i ask them to draw them to you my lord I ask you to put your uh, love around them, Father, and I know what that feels like because you have me, have let me feel that uh, before, how your love was around me and your presence was around me as a child, Father. I ask you to put peace in them, Father. I ask you to give their parents wisdom, Lord, to open up the parents' eyes so that they may see that if they're not doing something right, Father, if they're not instructing their children in, in the right way, Father, that you open up the parents' eyes, Lord, that they may see what, what they're doing wrong, Lord, and correct it, Father. And Lord, I just ask you to open up all the avenues so that children may come to know your word, Father. I ask you to use grandparents and, and family members in their lives, fathers, to draw the little children to you, to your word, and protect them, Father. Protect them with the whole army of heaven, Father, because they're so precious and innocent, Lord, that they need super protection during these days, my Lord. Father, we put them in your hands, Lord. Father, if there's a child right now that's being abused, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to send rescue to that child, Father. Amen, in Jesus' right name. Right from heaven, Lord. And uh, we just trust you in every situation, Father. Father, if there's a child who is uh, seeking you, Father, let them find you. Father, if there's a child crying out to you, Lord, please come to their rescue and um, protect them, Lord. Just put a circle of protection around them. And uh, help. Uh, also, Lord, please use other children to bring the children closer to you. Give children wisdom on how to uh, be kind to others. Especially yep. those that are getting to like to the age of 13, Lord, when, when we become selfish and arrogant and, and self, I don't know, self, Father, please uh, 
open up the eyes of, of that that age group, Lord, so that they, they can have kindness and help them to examine themselves, Lord. Help them yes, to, to be thankful, Father. Open up their hearts. The Holy Spirit minister to them. Open up their eyes if they're at the age of 13 or 12 so that they may see sin for what it is, Lord. Holy Spirit, help them, Lord. No matter in what environment that they're growing up in, Lord, let them see sin for what it is. And help them, Father, to, to walk in your path, Father. Draw them to your word. Draw them to things in, in, in the internet that have to do with your word, Father. Use all avenues, Father, to bring them into your kingdom, O oh Lord. And Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for your grace and your love, Lord, and your compassion and your patience, most of all, Lord. That you're so patient with us, Father. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. Father, if there's any child who's struggling um, to know that there's a God, Father, reveal yourself to them. Don't let them wander, Father. Just reveal yourself to them. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read some verses for, about the children. My Lord. Um, hallelujah. Matt 19, 14. It says, but Jesus said, suffer little children and forbid them not to come to me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. My glasses, my other glasses, I, I misplaced them. <laughs> so Isaiah 54. Let's go there. I want to read the verses for the children. Daddy, can, uh, can I add something else to the prayer? Sure. I mean, wait, wait. Let me read yeah, the When verses. you finish. When you let, finish. Let me read the verses and you could keep praying for the children. I like to I like to lay out the foundation, girl. And the foundation is the word. Nothing is more powerful. Our words and our prayers are good, but God's words are way better. So um, verse um, Isaiah 54, 13. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come nigh thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall form for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth the instruments for his work. I have created the waters to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against our children, against us and our lives, in judgment, we condemn it. We condemn the voice of the devil because he's a liar in Jesus' name. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And God is talking about our children. Amen. One more, and Sylvia's going to continue to pray. In Psalms 89. This is what I base my, my prayers on, on what's written. Amen. Psalms 89, 30 to 34. If our children forsake the law of the Lord and walk not in his judgment, if they break his statutes and keep not his commandments, 
Then will the Lord visit their transgression with the rod. He's going to give them pow pow. And I want him to give them the pow pow. And their iniquities with stripes. Yes, Lord, we agree with your word. Visit them. We will not interfere. You visit them, Lord. Nevertheless, the Lord promised never to take his loving kindness. And he will not utterly forsake them, nor suffer his faithfulness to fail. 34 says, his covenant he will not break, nor alter the things that have come out of his mouth. And you know why? Because in Acts, look what it says in Acts, chapter 2, look at the covenant. You want to see the covenant? I'm going to show you the covenant right now. The covenant is in Acts chapter 2, verse 39. For the promise is unto you. How you do that? You and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And what is the promise? The promise is in verse 38. It says, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the promise is to you and to your children and everybody else. So God promises to save our children. See? See? And that's why I always read these verses to remind God that his promises are a yes and an amen. Sylvia, you can continue to pray. Father, I want to put before you those children who have lost their parents, Father, during this time um, of COVID, my Lord, and um, of children who have lost their parents parents in any type of tragedy, my Lord. Father, I ask you to comfort these children with your love and your grace and your peace. And Father, that you put godly people to lead them to you, my Lord. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I'm really just humbled by the Lord, you know. Let us pray for the salvation of souls. And um, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures. Do I have a volunteer that wants to pray for the salvation of souls? Anyone? I'll pray. Okay. Let me... Let me um, read a couple of verses you could start i'm gonna look for the verses and you can start go father in the mighty name of jesus christ we come humbly before the throne of grace i just thank you lord we pray for the salvation of the souls father we pray that lord that you will continue to add to your church in the mighty name of jesus christ i even pray for today lord when we go out there today lord that we continue to minister to, to the souls and that souls will be one and be saved lord because all souls belong to you so, Father, we just thank you for today, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy name, Father God. And like I said, continue to add to your church, Lord. But that's what it's all about. It's all about reconciliation, reconciling people back to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, before you come for your church. So, Father, I just thank you on today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. It says in Ecclesiastics 18.4, Behold, all souls are mine. As the souls of the Father, so also the souls of the sons is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, I'm going to also read um, Ezekiel 13, verse 23. And I'm going to bind the spirit of divination. Let me tell you something. When you go to the book of Revelation and you read, um, I, I, I don't remember the chapter, but it says that people do witchcraft. 
to bind souls, to to do diabolical things. And uh, it's sad to to think that people would forsake the will of God to to pursue the powers of darkness. Satan has not offered anything to humanity other than to kill, steal, and destroy. But you know what I learned in Luke 10, 19? That God's given me power over all the power of the enemy. And uh, it's written. He says, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And he says, in my name, you should cast out devils. You should free the captives. All over the Bible, God is saying to the church, set these people free. So as we pray for the souls, I want to read in, uh, in uh, Ezekiel 13, verse 20. And I want to bind the, the hunter of the souls. Wherefore, tough saith the Lord God, behold, I, have, I am against your pillows, wherewith you dare hunt for souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your hand. And I will let the souls go, even the souls that you hunt to make them fly. So we bind the hunter and we bind divination and witchcraft. We're going to read in the same chapter, verse, I'm in Ezekiel 13, verse 23. Because with lies you have made the hearts of the righteous sad. Whom I have not made sad, and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that ye should not return from his wicked way, by promising him life. Therefore you shall see no more vanities, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hands, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So we bind that familiar spirit. I'm going to ask Sister Elisa to help me pray. I'm going to pray against witchcraft, but I also want her to help me pray. Hallelujah. And, uh, um, Elisa, can you help me pray? I'll try. Yeah. Got, got, you got it, baby girl. <clears throat> Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come to you, Lord, and we agree, Father God, of this prayer, Father, of people using witchcraft, Father, reading cards, believing in stones, believing and putting candles, Lord, believing in trees, believing in, in stuff, Lord, and not putting you first, Father God, not even thinking about you, Lord. I pray, Father, for all those people that does that, Lord, that you, Father God, will reveal yourself to them, Father God, that you will touch them in a way, Father God, that they, that they will be impacted, Father God, by your presence, Father, Lord. They are yours because they are souls. They are your creation, Father God. So, Father God. I pray, Father God, and we believe, Lord, that um, you are going to do something. You are, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. And in his name I pray, amen. Amen. I'm going to use the book of John Eckhart, and I'm going to be quoting in page 43. I'm going to be using the portion that says, Rebuking the Enemy. And the reason I like to use this book is because it has scriptures that are written down. And I'm going to use the sword of the spirit to rebuke. Satan, the Lord rebuke thee in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the enemy perish at your rebuke, O Lord. Satan, let God's people go in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the enemy flee at your rebuke, O Lord. Satan, I rebuke you. Let God's people go in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I rebuke all the winds and the storms of the enemy against the souls, and I bind the hunter of the souls in the mighty name of Jesus. 
rebuke the company of the spearmen and the multitude of bulls until they submit in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebuke those that rush at the souls and let them flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebuke the devourer for our sake because they give in Jesus' mighty name. Rebuke the horse and his chariots and let them fall into a deep sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every unclean spirit and every familiar spirit that would attempt to operate in the souls of the nations of the world, in our home, and our children, and our family, and we bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke the proud spirit because pride is not of you, and we curse it and bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we release furious rebukes upon the enemy of the souls, the hunter of the souls. We release furious rebukes upon Satan in the mighty name of Jesus, upon every demon and principality trying to bind the souls and we set the souls free. We bind the schizophrenic spirits. We bind dementia, all time is disease. We bind double mindedness. We bind confusion. We bind oppression in the mighty name of Jesus. And we loose ourselves from all the power of the enemy. Any way that Satan is trying to bind himself or link himself to us, we are loose in the mighty name of Jesus. We we loose ourselves from obesity, from sickness, from disease, from from hurt, from from bad words being spoken to us for people bringing down our godly character from cursing us in any type of way we rebuke all that in the mighty name of jesus we command you saying let god's people go let us go let our homes go let our children go let our family go let the church go in the mighty name of jesus for as vast as the cross is as vast as my prayer i do not limit myself to to the system of this world Oh, but we are transformed and we send forth furious rebukes upon the enemy. According to Ecclesiastes, uh, according to Ezekiel 25, 17, we release furious rebukes in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the blast of your nostrils rebuke the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. According to 2 Samuel 22, 16 hallelujah father we rebuke the enemy with the flames of fire for we are ministers of fire hallelujah according to hebrews 1 7 and according to isaiah 66 15 in the mighty name of jesus let a thousand flee at your rebuke O lord in the mighty name of jesus let ten thousand be release let hundreds and thousands be loosed in the mighty name of jesus let millions be loosed from the hunter of souls in the mighty name of jesus let billions be loosed in the mighty name of jesus let them come from the four corners of the earth let them be loosed in the mighty name of jesus devil the lord rebukes you in the mighty name of jesus and i rebuke you hold your peace and come out of the people of the nations of the world oh hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus satan the lord rebukes thee in the mighty name of jesus and i rebuke thee in the mighty name of jesus get thee hands satan for it is written in Matthew 4.10, and I command you to go from the people of the nations of the world at the hearing of my voice. I loose you from the powers of Satan, and I command you to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Get behind us, Satan. Let God's people go, for it is written in Luke 4.8 that you have to do it. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah we lose ourselves we lose our children we lose our family we lose the nations of the world we lose the church from every bond of satan in the mighty name of jesus according to luke 13 verse 16 in jesus mighty name father bruise satan under our feet according to romans 
1620 in the mighty name of Jesus bruise him we lose our minds our imagination our thoughts our hearts we lose the people in this community in Highbridge that when we go out there, Lord God, and we preach your gospel, they can hear your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke all hindering spirits of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, 18, in the mighty name of Jesus. We renounce all ungodly anger and we give no place to the devil. We bind your works according to Ephesians 4, 27, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we command you to go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We pray to overcome all shifting of Satan, and we pray, Lord God, that you deliver us and you break every yoke out of our hearts and our minds, out of the minds of the people, in the mighty name of Jesus, at the hearing of my voice, in Jesus' mighty name, according to Luke, 22 31 hallelujah we are delivered from the powers of satan unto god hallelujah and we receive that deliverance according to colossians 1 13 that god has delivered us and translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son we are loose be loose in the mighty name of jesus i disconnect you from wherever satan has connected himself to you I disconnected you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. There's no limitation of, in God. If you can hear me at the sound of my voice, receive liberty. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Receive freedom in Jesus' name, according to Acts 26 18 you are delivered from the power of satan unto god receive the liberty in the mighty name of jesus i bind the thief that comes to steal kill and destroy hallelujah because jesus christ has come to give you life and life more abundantly and i lose that life of abundance in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ father remove satan's seat from our region our city our nation our government our home our family our children our churches our pastors our leaders our government officials in the mighty name of jesus we bind satan's reign and we decree and declare that jesus christ reigns forever and ever and ever and his scepter is forever hallelujah according to revelation 2 13 hallelujah lord remove every synagogue of satan from our city our nation our state our world remove his power remove his his will hallelujah and we loosen the will of god uh, for your word says that it is your will that all come to salvation hallelujah that you not slack in your promises hallelujah we bind and rebuke the wrath of the devil directed against our lives today for today salvation this hours hallelujah tomorrow is not promised and yesterday's gone today we receive liberty today we receive the blessing today we receive the victory today we receive joy today we receive breakthroughs we take the limitations off of god and we say father your will be done on earth as you have it in heaven god is a good god a powerful god a loving god a merciful god he is a beautiful god he gives all things that pertain to life and godliness and we receive it in jesus name satan we resist you and we command you to flee flee from the souls flee from the church free flee from the body of christ flee from our relationships flee from our health flee from us we lose ourselves mentally physically emotionally spiritually and financially we lose ourselves in our relationship with our children with our with our spouses with our parents with our with our neighbors hallelujah we lose ourselves with our brethren from with our brethren we lose our brethren and our neighbors in the mighty name of jesus and we command you to let god's people go Amen. in jesus mighty name and father we Amen. decree that we will be sober and vigilant against our adversary the devil according to first peter 5 verse 8 in jesus mighty name amen amen and amen hallelujah i want to make a decree 
Hallelujah. I want to speak forth who we are in Christ. Hallelujah. Because I believe that we're blessed in Christ. Romans 1 6 says, We are called of God. Hallelujah. Romans 3 24 says, We have redemption through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Romans 5 17 says, We reign in this life through Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Romans 6 11 says that we are alive through unto God through Christ. Hallelujah. Romans 6 23 says we have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Romans 8 17 says that we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 2 says that we are sanctified in Christ. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 6, 15 says that we are members of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And 1 Corinthians 15, 57 says we have victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. In 2 Corinthians 2.14, it says that we triumph in Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, we triumph. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians 15.17, says that we are new creatures in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In 2 Corinthians 5.21, says that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are already in right standing with God. It is written in 2 Corinthians 5.21 that we are the righteousness of Christ. Hallelujah. Galatians 2.4 says that we have liberty through Jesus Christ. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You have been liberated. You have liberty in Christ. Receive that liberty in Jesus' mighty name. Galatians 2.20 says that we are crucified with Christ. Our flesh is dead and we live through Christ, through his word, through his spirit. Hallelujah. The old man has been crucified in Christ. Hallelujah. Galatians 3.27 says we have to put on the character of Christ and we put it on daily. Hallelujah. We put on, we receive the heart of God. We choose to do that. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, do that. Hallelujah. Galatians 4, 7 says that we are heirs of God. Everything that God has is ours. Everything that God possesses is ours. God is ours. He belongs to us and we belong to him through Christ. Galatians 4, 7. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're heirs of God. He is mine and I am his. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1, 3 says that we are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Every spiritual blessing that God promises, he promises peace that's spiritual. He says, I give you peace, not like this world gives. Joy, joy of the Lord is our strength. That doesn't come from this world. We tap into the strength of God. We have the joy of God. He gives us endurance. He gives us the power. He gives us blessings. He gives us understanding. Everything that's spiritual, the Holy Spirit comes from God. Hallelujah. It's spiritual. It belongs to us. All these wonderful things belong to us. That is in Ephesians 1, verse 3. All spiritual blessings. No one can take that from us. Hallelujah. Spiritual blessings belong to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1, 11 says that we are chosen from the foundation of the world. Oh, that we will be holy and without blame before him. He has chosen us. We, He says, you did not choose me. I chose you. Hallelujah. You are chosen of God. It is written in Ephesians 1.11. Hallelujah. Ephesians 
2.25 says, he's the one that quickened us. He quickened our spirit, man. He made us alive to him. That's why we got ears to hear. We have hearts to perceive. We have understanding of his word because he abides in us. It says, greater is he that's in us. That's First John 4.4 4, than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. It says we're sitting in heavenly places. You got to see yourself as a child of God sitting with the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says he has, we have been created in Christ unto good works. We're going, and that's Ephesians 2.10. Hallelujah. It says we have access to the throne of God and we can enter in boldly. Hallelujah. That's Ephesians 3.21. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says we can rejoice in Christ. That's Philippians 3.3. 3. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants us to rejoice yeah. always. Just be joyful in the Lord. That is your strength. Philippians 4.13 says that he's marked us for a high calling in Christ. Our calling is high Philippians 4.13 says that we can do all things through him, through Christ, through God. We can overcome through Christ. We can prevail through Christ. We can endure through Christ. We can have strength through Christ. We have healing through Christ. We have victory through Christ. We have mercy through Christ. We have provision through Christ. We have healing through Christ. We have victory. Hallelujah. We can do all things through Christ. Hallelujah. If we believe, if we receive what he's telling us, hallelujah. Philippians 4.19 says that he's going to supply all our needs. Anything that we need that pertains to life and godliness is ours. All we have to do is ask and he shall supply it. He shall supply our needs. He will provide our needs. It is his good will to give us good things. If we know how to give good things to our children. How much more would our heavenly father give us the Holy Spirit to him that asks? How much more our heavenly father will provide healing that asks? How much more our heavenly father will give us bread that asks? How much more our heavenly father will provide blessings that ask? How much more our heavenly father give us victory that asks? How much more our heavenly father will give us Deliverance, when he said, for this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested to destroy all the works of the enemy. How much more will our Heavenly Father give us all things, supply all our needs according to his riches and glory? It's not according to our glory. It's according to his glory. It's according to his riches. It's according to his will. Hallelujah. And we receive that in Jesus' mighty name. Colossians 1.27 says, that Christ is our hope in glory. He's our hope. We hope that this is all real and we know it's all real and we believe and receive that it's all real. He is our hope. We're hoping in Christ and his promises and his will. Hallelujah. And we praise him. We are complete in Christ. We are. That's in Colossians 2.10. And Colossians 2.20 says that we're dead with Christ. This body's dead, hallelujah. We have risen with Christ. That's Colossians 1 verse 3. We already are risen. We're with him, sitting in heavenly places, hallelujah. Our life is hid with Christ in God, Colossians 3.3, 3, hallelujah. Uh, Christ is our life, Colossians 3, 4, hallelujah. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. We have the heart of Christ. We have the will of Christ, hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 2, 16 says we have his mind, hallelujah. You say it to yourself every day. Every day the devil's attacking your mind. You say it is written in 2 Corinthians 16, I have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. We are partakers of Christ. Hebrews 3.14. Hallelujah. I am a partaker of Christ. Everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to me. And I am preserved in Christ. Jude 1.1. 1, 1. We are preserved. God is preserving us. I want to read that. Jude 1.1. 1, 1. Hallelujah. So we can conclude and I'm going to pray.
Glory to Jesus. Jude 1, 1 says, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, the brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Hallelujah. Father, I want to thank you for this Zoom meeting. You have blessed us in so many ways. You have just wonderfully blessed us. We thank you so much for your blessings. We thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for anointing us. We thank you so much for blessing us. Hallelujah. And giving us the victory in Jesus' name. Honey, can you pray and close up the prayer? Yes, yeah, Father, we thank you for this beautiful Zoom. Father God, continue blessing the brothers and my sisters, Lord. He added to him uh, faith, wisdom, Lord. Let him go in faith and wisdom, Lord. Acknowledge to you, Lord. Give him peace. Give him rest in your presence, Lord. Let him meditate on the scriptures, Lord, your promises, Lord. You do it today and night, we should prosper, Lord. I will come with your precious blood, the house, the doors, the window, cover their minds, the doors with your precious blood of your sons, Father. And according to the soul of the feet, Lord, I ask you to continue adding people to Zoom, Father God, to become prayer words, to pray. Pray for the community, pray for the nations, pray for everything around us, my God. We look for intercessors, my God, and times, Father. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus Christ, your son. We thank you, Father God. Continue blessing, my Lord, multiplying us, Father, to be a blessing to those out there, Lord God. They could be a most cry out to them, Father. They're not alone, Father God. Continue adding, Lord, while people could be there to speak the word, there to tell you what says the word, there to say what says you, my Lord, through your word, Father. They could be warriors, my God, who battle with the demons, those powers, Lord, to let go of the sons and daughters, Father. Father, we thank you, Father God, for your, your silly son, Jesus, and the precious blood he shed on Calvary's cross. We thank you, Father God, in your name of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. It's so wonderful to have Jesus in our lives. If the Holy Spirit has touched you today and you desire to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, I accept you. I understand that you died for the sins of humanity. And I received the blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of my sins. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Fill me today with the beautiful Holy Spirit that you promised to send. And I received the forgiveness of all my sins. And today I can say that you are my Father and cover me with your precious blood and cleanse me from all sin. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me today, you have become born again, and the celebration in heaven is huge because in heaven they celebrate the salvation of the soul. Hallelujah. And God welcomes you to the family of God. Praise God once again. This is Messengers of Light Ministry. And we thank the Lord Jesus Christ once again for allowing us to minister to you for the glory of his name. We thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his word, <coughs> worthy, worthy, worthiness. Because he's so worthy. Worthy of praise. Worthy of honor. Worthy of glory. Worthy due to his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to Messengers of Light Ministry once again. I just want to remind you, you can jump into these Zoom meetings by emailing me at PastorLizardoZambra at gmail.com. You can find us in Facebook, hallelujah, at Pastors Zambra. You can see these videos on YouTube at Lizardo Zambra. And you can also find us at angelicvoiceministries.com. I'm going to bless you right now. And then I'm going to have the prayer team say goodbye. Hallelujah. So the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. May the Lord's communion be with you. The Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. And may the love of the, the Father wrap himself around you. And may you have the fire of the Holy Spirit burning inside of you and the will of God manifest out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Uh, Pastor, can you say goodbye? God bless you, everybody. I love you. Have a great, wonderful Jesus Day, amen.
God bless, God bless you. you. Have, have a peace day. God bless. We love you. God bless. Amen. Amen. Sister Sylvia, can you say goodbye? God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and hopefully we'll meet tomorrow. Amen. Jesus name. Kiona, hopefully you can say goodbye. Well, Kiona. You all have a good day. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Judy, God bless you. Love you, Brother BJ, Angelic Voice Ministry. Can you say goodbye? God bless everyone. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Amen. Sister Elisa, can you say goodbye? Yes. Okay, everyone. God bless. Yes. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, join tomorrow will Zoom. Amen. And to not be going out. And to not be going out. Honey, to not be going out. I mean, they don't be going out. Minister Elisa. <laughs> Brother, Sid, can you say goodbye? Have a wonderful day. Um, day, everybody, let miracles abide with you, and God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. This is Messengers of Light Ministry. Amen.